Good morning. This is Bill from Out of Europa, Naples, and I'm here today on this misty, muggy, swampy Florida morning uh, with a car that's probably used to the mist, at least genetically. Uh, this is a 2002 Jaguar XKR convertible. It's finished in delectable British racing green. It's got biscuit leather inside. And uh, being the XKR, it adds a whole new level of excitement to an already pretty damn cool car. Uh, the R uh, brings in some suspension changes, but primarily a uh, very large uh, root-style supercharger under the hood, bumping this 4-liter V8 all the way up to 370 horsepower. So it's a little bit of a screamer. Uh, you can see the lines are absolutely stunning. Uh, you know, the current generation of uh, Aston Martins are designed by the fellow who wrote this car down on a piece of paper. And you can sure tell the graceful sweeping lines of this big cat. Uh, of course, it's uh, sort of a modern era Jaguar, so they've toned down the chrome a little bit. Uh, of course, still got it there in the door handles and a few other bits and pieces. But uh, it is a breathtaking car. And of course, a very expensive car when new. And uh, as such, they represent a little bit of a bargain, these things. Uh, you know, Jaguar sort of unfairly uh, suffers from a past reputation, which, uh, you know, certainly they deserved in, you know, the nether uh, years of, you know, decades and decades ago. But when Ford purchased them, they really updated a lot of electronics, a lot of switches, a lot of stuff that uh, was notorious on the older Jaguars. All works really, really well on these uh, these modern era Jaguars. And uh, as such, you can buy a pretty low mileage example of a pretty incredible car, uh, you know, for significantly less than some of its competitors like the SL or the 911. Uh, you can see, uh, again, as the XKR, it's got big, uh, beautiful alloy wheels, the riding Michelin tires, love the leaping cat on the fenders, very, very nice. Uh, you know, again, very graceful and elegant lines on this British convertible. Uh, the Brits really do know how to build a beautiful coach, that's for damn sure. Uh, you see big chrome twice pipes at the bottom, nice little bit of chrome, suggestion of a rear spoiler, uh, and again, very, very elegant the way the taillights are surrounded in chrome and uh, the trim is. I also like the, uh, uh, the cat there, which functions as a button as well. Uh, here's another advantage to these cars is they have giant trunks. Uh, much bigger, again, than some of their competitors. I mean, two or three sets of golf clubs, you can put them in here. Uh, you see it also has the nav disc and the CD changer. Uh, this is the original bag for the top cover, the original floor mats. Uh, everything nice and proper on this 55,000 mile Florida car. Uh, you know, underneath this tonneau cover, which it's nice to see it's still with the car, is a uh, very good condition camel colored soft top. So you can see that in the photos. It's a pain in the ass to remove that uh, cover on and off with one hand and a camera. But I can assure you the top works very, very well. Great condition, glass rear window, and no issues there at all. So uh, let's have a look under the hood which is absolute magic in this car. Uh, Jaguar was really ahead of the game on the horsepower wars. And, uh, you know, in 2002, 370 was a pretty significant number. Uh, again, you can see that fantastic supercharger under the hood. Very, very nice, works perfect. Uh, really bumps up the torque and horsepower on this engine. Turns it into something of a rocket, uh, rocket ship. I also like the uh, reverse opening hood, you know, from the back to the front. Uh, very nice uh, patronage to earlier Jaguars. At least the whole front end doesn't lift up, but the hood is pretty cool. All right, inside you can see beautiful Connolly leather seats, or hides as our, uh, you know, island friends might call them. Uh, in fantastic shape, very little wear anywhere, beautiful fit and finish, and an incredible uh, you know, amount of uh, genuine burl wood there. You know, Jaguar did not skimp on the wood on the inside of this car. Uh, you can see everything really nice, lovely materials, all stitched leather in the door panels. Uh, the back seats, I don't know. I don't know who you're going to jam back there, but uh, in a pinch you can jam somebody, maybe Hervé Villachez or... Uh, you know, that guy from Game of Thrones. Uh, anyway, they'll fit back there, certainly kids, and, you know, I don't know if they'll be happy, but you'll get them in. All right, let's hop in. Let's see if I can find the keys here. Got them somewhere. There we go. Nice uh, two sets of keys, books, everything uh, lovely and still with the car. So you can see it's been very well kept, dealer maintained, garaged, nice stuff. I get my seatbelt on. Let's 
fire it up and see what we got. So very nicely laid out instrument cluster. You can see it fires right to life, exceptional. Self-test perfectly. Uh, you got your miles per hour up to 170. You got your tack, you got your fuel and your temp. What more do you need? Uh, over here, you've got uh, Jaguar's in-dash uh, navigation system. Lovely stuff. Nice option on this car. And, uh, you know, still works well. O2, it's a pretty good system for O2. And uh, it'll help you get where you're going. Uh, down here, you've got your climate control. Works really well. Nice cold AC, nice hot heat. Uh, you got heated seats if you need them. You can turn off your trash control. And, of course, a uh, AM, FM uh, uh, with the CD changer in the trunk. There we go. We got NPR rocking. And, of course, Jaguar is very classic J shifter if you want to bang your way through the gears also a sport setting and uh, this is a, a cruise control i believe switch right where you would expect to find it a beautiful wooden leather steering wheel a self-dimming mirror in good shape those are often screwed up if you're looking at these cars make sure to check the mirrors they're always going south all right so tons of pep from under the hood of this car uh, again, being the R, you got that supercharger. Uh, you know, it just takes the thing to a whole new level. Yes, so we got a parade of German cars and one big British cat in the middle of them. So, goes down the road well. Nice, smooth power from the engine. Uh, you know, lovely feel from the steering. Good brakes. The thing went through our shop with flying colors. No, way. look at that. There's our modern <laughs> equivalent. It's all Jags today. You got the friendly Jag wave. We're in a private club. Go have some scones and biscuits and tea. Uh, anyway, I digress. Here it is. 2002 Jaguar XKR convertible. Gorgeous, gorgeous car. Just 55,000 miles. British racing greed and biscuit. Classic, classic. This is definitely a future collectible. Uh, if you have an interest, give us a call. 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Wish I could hammer it for you this morning, show you the pep under the hood of this thing, but as you can see, we're in a long line of traffic and not really going anywhere. So you have to come buy it and drive it yourself and see what you think of it then. But uh, uh, thanks again, mercedesexpert.com, and we'll see you with the next one. Take care.